In the next part of the problem, they want to find out the actual magnitude of the electric field out here, the x equals 8 centimeters. And of course, we're going to use the cylindrical symmetry here and Gauss's law. So I'll need to draw a Gaussian surface. I'm going to draw a cylindrical shell centered on the two uh, shells and then going through the point where I'd like to know the electric field. Simply write down Gauss's law, the integral of the electric field dotted into the area is equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. In this case here I've chosen my Gaussian surface such that the electric field is constant everywhere on the barrel. So I can pull that outside, just integral of dA, and the amount of charge that I'm going to enclose, well I'm enclosing both the charge on the inner cylinder as well as on the shell. So I'm going to have to include both lambda inner plus lambda shell, and then that's a charge density charge per unit length, so I need to figure out how long my cylinder is, and that's going into the page. I'll just call that L, again, divided by epsilon naught. So the area that I need to consider here is I don't need to consider the, the top or bottom of the can since the electric field is going radially outward here. But what I do need to consider is the, the barrel. And so the area of that barrel is going to be the circumference, which is 2 pi r times, again, how, how deep it goes into the page, which is L. So I can solve this here, replete my lambdas. Sorry that it's getting a little bit messy here. Notice that my L's are going to cancel out. And I get the familiar expression, electric field due to this infinite cylinder is just going to be equal to the total charge enclosed. And then I just divide that by 2 pi r epsilon naught. In this case, I can plug in some numbers here. And lambda inner is uh, minus 5. So I get minus 5 times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs per centimeter. And the outer is plus 2. 2 times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs per centimeter. Uh, again, my L's canceled out. And below this here, I get 2 pi. And here, my distance that I'm interested in is 8 centimeters. So I'll go 8 centimeters for R. And epsilon naught is 8.8. 8. 5 times 10 to the minus 12th. And I'm pretty good. The only problem is that I've used centimeters here. So I want to convert that into meters. And so I'm going to have to multiply this by the appropriate units, the 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 4th to get from centimeters squared per meter squared. When you do all that, it comes out to the correct answer here of 6.7 times 10 to the 4th newtons per coulomb.